Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we are doing a server review on the Rapids MC server. Thank you for the owner reaching out, asking us to do a review. Very appreciated. If you want to review yourself, please contact us on Discord. My username is noodles3212. It's easier to click the link to our Discord down in the description though, and contact me that way. Um, so please contact us if you want a server review. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Um, so, it, I, I just thinking this is some type of survival um i was on here a little earlier just to get some items which um i was able to show off so thank you to the owner for giving me those um so i believe it's survival or townie or one of those it looks like townie from what i can tell on the scoreboard um so we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see what we can get ourselves into so uh you have a nice scoreboard and colors so i like your colors on the scoreboard and on your tablets they fit they don't like uh, hurt your eyes or anything um my only suggestion would be you have the ping and online and like the little arrows in green when everything else on your scoreboard with the arrows and stuff is in blue so i would i don't know if you wanted to switch because these this is in blue too and that's in yellow so i'm not sure if you would want to switch those green to uh blue just to make it all fit but it's up to you obviously that's just like a cosmetic change i would recommend doing obviously not required everything in this video are my opinions rather than um things you have to listen to um i like you using the new features in minecraft and stuff with like armor stands i'm guessing this is or something um because those are really cool to have and use um just having around because it makes the world more unique and into things also i wanted to just mention you have an amazing player base so keep it up with your player base um hopefully you have great success with it because whatever you're doing you're doing right if you have 60 players on constantly and there were 60 players when i was on here last night getting these items so you have 60 players on almost constantly so keep up the good work with that that's really really good so as long as you have a player base you're gonna keep having success so keep working on it I know you can have fun. Um, one thing I did know is in chat, um, with all these people typing and stuff, I can actually review what your chat format looks like and everything. One thing I'd recommend doing is your death messages kind of tie in with the normal chats. So what I would do is maybe add a blank space in the front of it and the like on either side of the death message so it shows the death message a little bit more clear than the other chat, just so you can see who's fighting who. Um, one other thing I would do is it seems like you have like the username or like the emp or town name and then like a space and then this i would add a space in between those if you have the space just because i think it would look a little better obviously just my opinion because you can see here there's no second thing there um but i would i would look into that if you have the time um but i otherwise than that the chat looks really cool you set it up really well so let's just get into actual features of the server um so let's just look around we got crazy enchanter add some sweet perks to your tools black scrolls allow you to take off random enchantments cool so you have like custom enchantments and stuff common enchantments 20 xp levels i clearly don't have that 2000 to get the white scroll so i don't have any money so i can't really try any of that out but it does seem like you have that well set up want to earn some cash while doing stuff click me to get a job i would add the click uh that c capitalized and make just one explanation point just my personal opinion um so you can earn money by mining materials and ores. Very cool. I would make, rather than that um, purple text, I would make that like a gray text or something or red. Just because the purple kind of makes it look a little weird. But that's just my suggestion. Um, crazy auctioneer. You want to sell stuff. So you got like a nice auction house here that seems to be going pretty well. So keep that up. Uh, let's see your GUI. So you got filled in GUI here. You don't have the empty spaces filled in here. Let's check your other GUIs just to see. You have the GUI filled in there, but the color is different. So what I would recommend doing is making all of the color the same inside of the fill menu of the GUI. That's just something I noticed on a bunch of servers, um, just to make those fill in GUI colors the same, just so they all look like they are part of the same plugin or as a part of the same system. Nice using the same things. Nice using like the 1.15 cosmetics and stuff. Got the car. You got the tower sign thing over here xyz so i'm not sure exactly what this is maybe that's upcoming staff or something but i would possibly maybe replace this with like a banner board or something uh, maybe a banner board over here with the staff name as well i don't know that's just something that may look cool for your players rather than just having an open area but nice job with the benches and everything only if they were a little higher off the ground because you're kind of sitting like underneath the fountain if you were able to sit in those um, but that's just my personal opinion um let's look around you have a nice spawn so i'm guessing this is crates over here considering i see like little crates standing on top of here crates are work in progress do not use okay so they're not up yet so that would explain why there's no signs or anything but i do like your design on here it looks really cool it seems like you have all these cool like little items around but it does say i don't have permissions to do this when i click some of them so maybe get rid of that message just so you don't have that spamming if people don't uh or accidentally click on those just so it's like, just clear and open i'm not sure why there's blocks there when there is oh i see okay so that's actually a cool doorway um 
Okay, that's cool. Interesting. Never seen that type of door before. Uh, let's look around here and see what's inside the houses. I'm guessing you can just go up onto the roofs and stuff up here. Yeah, you can. Okay. Very cool. Uh, custom heads. Want to spice up your world build with custom heads? Oh, so this is like my head. So I could just take my head. Very cool. So is all these free or do I have to... Oh, these are all free. So maybe this would be a good donator perk considering it is just... Um, cosmetics so you could restrict some of those heads to just donators and stuff that may be a good idea that's a that's something i just noticed so i would i would check that out if you have the time because that's actually really cool uh server guide so server guide help menu townie create a town with slash townie t new town i'm gonna t, t new bjg development because that's the name of the channel i just created a town nice little big um message there maybe put a exclamation point or like a period at the end that would be cool as well uh you got your bank so you can convert cash into notes and xp bottles oh that's cool so you can convert stuff vehicles uh purchase a range of vehicles to travel the earth with and have fun i got two of them to show off today you got jobs so you can leave and browse jobs custom enchants furniture fishing custom heads teleport auction bounty social live map um so that's like online i'm guessing or is that command slash map uh, yeah, so that's online. Uh, maybe I'll show that off. I'll I'll open it and see if we have time at the end of this video. I don't want it to be too long, but it does seem cool. Uh, if you want to shop, you can do slash shop. So I'm guessing that opens up this menu. If you're going to have the fill GUI on the back, I would make the fill GUI here as well. And, but you have the fill GUI here. So you have the fill GUI inside of these, but not in the main menu. I'd just fill that all in. Uh, very, very cool though. All right, why don't we teleport to some places? Take a look at your teleporting stuff and go through that. Magic teleporter. We want to teleport to... Why don't we go to North America? Teleported to North America. Okay, so it's a little bit of a glitch when I teleported there, but I'm guessing that's just because the world was loading in. I'm not sure if that's fixable or not, but that would be something I would look into. Um, all right, so why don't we just travel the world, it seems, and maybe we could go ahead and try out some of these vehicles. So why don't we go head out here a little? So I'm guessing this is like claimed land here. No, it's not. Okay, so only that area is claimed. Very cool. I'll plant that back. I don't want to be rude. So we got a tiger helicopter, so let's place it down. Ooh, very nice design for your helicopter. So I'm guessing I can just sit in this and it will... St oh, that's cool. Never seen that done before. All right, so I'm guessing shift is out. Okay, so how do I take off? That's a good question. Uh... Okay, left click seems to be hurting me for some reason. I would look into that. I'm not exactly... Okay, so... So do I have to click or hold, control maybe, shift? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to fly this. So maybe make it so the first time you, um... You, like, open up a helicopter or something, you actually get like a tutorial on how to fly it because i'm not exactly sure how i fly that uh but i will figure that out momentarily um but that would be something i would look into so i'm gonna try to figure out how to fly this i'll be right back all right so i'm a complete idiot it seems it was the space button actually raises it up which makes sense um but this is a cool way of traveling the world i actually really really like this because it opens up a range of possibilities you can do on your server um so that is really 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 cool um, nice anti-cheat, by the way, so great job on having an anti-cheat on your server. Um, glad you are getting rid of cheaters, and it seems like it's doing a good job by the reactions of the chat there. Um, but yeah, so you can fly pretty fast on this. I really, really like it. Um, good idea with your helicopter transport, especially for towny servers and stuff and survival servers. You want a way to get around and actually do stuff, so really, really nice job on that. Um, I really, really like that idea. So maybe keep expanding the vehicle sense. Um, I know a lot of servers, ha some servers have vehicles, not all of them. So maybe expand the vehicle sense and stuff um, because I think that would work out pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and land this somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to land this, but we'll figure that out. Um, maybe I can land it over here. I'm thinking this will be a good landing place. Um, very easy to control now that I knew space brought me up, and I should have probably thought about that in the beginning. And then to collect it, you just shift right click, um, and it will pick it up. Um, let's take a look at a submarine. I'm not going to spawn it. Uh, it must be placed on water. Uh, okay, so clearly uh, this is not big enough to spawn that. Let me try to find a more open ocean if we're going to go somewhere. There we go. Okay, so you can actually get in the submarine and drive the submarine around. That's cool. Oh, you actually can go underwater. Oh, so you, you don't die underwater if you're in the submarine. That's cool. So that, that would be something you would want to do maybe with a group of people. So you could go exploring in the ocean and stuff. I think that's a really cool idea. All right. So why don't we go over just the traditional stuff I normally look at in a server before this video comes to a close. Because we're reaching the 10 minute mark already, which is longer than most of our server reviews. Um, but it does seem like you have a lot of new unique features. And I just wanted to mention that there's not a lot I could critique about the server. That's a 
word I haven't used in these series before. Um, just because it seems like you have everything really, really well set up, and I think you are doing an amazing job. Um, it seems like you, maybe once you get crates and stuff, I could find out if you bounce me back or something. But from what I've told, just a few things like the GUI items and uh, stuff like that are the only things I have mentioned in this video. So why don't we go ahead and try out your commands? So I'm guessing you block slash plugins and slash about and everything. Maybe do slash about send you to your website for the server. I think that would be a good idea. Slash help opens up your server help menu, which is great. Um, let's see what other commands. Maybe you could do. I'm guessing you block slash version 2, yeah. Okay, so you block all the main commands, which is fine. Uh, you don't block slash tab, so I can still see all the commands that way. But um, maybe there's a way to disable that. I'm not exactly sure. I don't normally disable those things, but uh, I know some people do. Um, so very, very cool on terms of that. Um, all right, so you block everything. You lose hunger and stuff. I would recommend maybe giving a little bit more than 8 steak when you join the server. Maybe like 10 or 12, just because I know some Minecraft players, they are brand new. They're not going to they're gonna want to build a house first. They're not going to want to eat and get food. But that's just me. I don't like eating and getting food in Minecraft that often. Um, but, you know, that's... That's something weird about me. Um, but it, overall, it seems like you have this really well set up. So we're going to go ahead and teleport back to spawn. Maybe customize your essentials spawn messages a little bit better. Um, saying it could, like, maybe teleport you, like, with a... Maybe fit your server color. So green or blue or something here. So make it uh, your essentials message is green or blue. Would be a cool idea. Um, oh, this is another thing. I spawn back here, not up here when I type slack spawn. I don't know if that's deliberate, but... There is one thing I wanted to mention. I just noticed that. Uh, but overall, very, very nice job. Um, maybe, I don't know if there exists. I'm guessing you could do town. Oh, you could do town list. Uh, my suggestion would put, put the town list in maybe a hologram format where you can click through the hologram with a leaderboard. It's probably possible with an API or something or the author of whatever plugin you're using could probably add it. That's just my suggestion. Add more holograms, add more leaderboards, stuff like that because I know that would work out well. All right, to end this video, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the map over on the website because I know um, we saw that in the beginning of this video and I wanted to showcase it. So you just got the live map here so you can see where everybody is on the planet, see what their health is, you can click them and everything and zoom in and figure out exactly where in the world they are which is really cool so i'm guessing uh this is someone's town yeah it is so you can see this is soup town so people have this type of stuff so you can find out where everybody's town is explore with them go through all of that which is really cool so keep up the good work with this maybe make i don't know if it's possible to make this page load any faster but it does seem to be pretty slow in terms of loading speed uh but sometimes that just happens because of whatever plugin or program you're using but that would just be my suggestion but overall very nice job keep working on it i can't wait to see how much success you have with this in the future and if you have any questions please let me know um down in the comments or if you want another server review or something let me know down in the comments as well thank you so much for watching my name is noodles and i'll see you in tomorrow Let's go.